Good morning to you, Ty. We are at the intersection of Highway F and Sub Row, just west of Defiance. We know of at least three homes that were leveled in the area after the tornado touched down around 8 p.m. Uh, last evening. I'm going to step out of the way here and show you this home that was leveled uh, as a result of that tornado. We've learned from a family friend that unfortunately this is the home where the that fatality had occurred. First responders told us they saw about a three mile stretch of damage that seemed to follow Highway F and an estimated about a dozen homes had damage with several of them leveled. Uh, a friend of a homeowner is at the corner of 94 and F said family went to the basement when they heard the warnings and were luckily they did because the rest of their house was destroyed. The National Weather Service reported one fatality again at this home that we are in front of right now. Uh, the person was the person who died was transported to an area hospital in extreme critical condition. A second person was also transported and a third person was trapped and rescued by first responders. Power crews on the scene are repairing power crews, excuse me, uh, are continue to repair damaged lines. The severe weather left a trail of damage that caused outages for thousands of Ameren customers. The National Weather Service will be on site at 7 this morning to begin surveying. Our meteorologist Chris Higgins estimates this was at least an EF3 tornado because the homes were leveled to the ground. We now have a um, witness account from someone who had experienced the tornado telling us how, telling us what they experienced. They said it sounded loud, you know, deafening almost, but then... Uh, you know, they, they're safe, so that's all that matters. I mean, tree limbs came down in the cellar. They deprived themselves out, but otherwise, you know, they have a daughter down there, a dog. They got everybody down to their safe, so it's all good. The tornado, tornado warnings were also, and watches were also issued for several counties, including St. Louis County, Madison, Macopin, and St. Charles, as well as Franklin County. Live in Defiance, I'm Al Arabi, Fox 2 News.